there's probably a, a thoughtful number of people who decide to get a present for mum too. <laughs> and there's usually a bottle of wine or two in there. Yeah. And... Who receives gifts at a baby shower, the parent or the unborn child? I think 90% the goes to the baby that's coming along. Most of the time it's for the unborn child, but nowadays I think people are becoming used to giving gifts to both. In my experience, baby showers are actually mostly a women's event, so it's actually for more for mums. That's a typically no, not part of it. <laughs> Uh, and the gifts are usually split between supplies for the baby and something for mum. Okay, what's an appropriate amount to spend on a baby shower gift? Maybe between $50 and $100 is yep. an appropriate amount for a close friend. Yep. And I think for someone who you maybe don't know as well, maybe under 50? You've been to more than I oh, have. It's one of those things like a... What do you get for a wedding gift? How, how good a friend is that friend? Probably looking at around, it, it all depends on your personal circumstances, but I would say between $100 and $200. Sounds reasonable. Somewhere between, yeah, $70 to $100 on a baby mm. shower. But I think around $50 would be a, a gift that you would give to a general um, person, a good friend. I know we got some gifts that were over, well over $100. One of our good friends actually gave us a basket full of things that you need as a, mm -hmm. a first time parent or a parent, you know, things you'd never think about, you know, things for mm. cleaning the baby and nursing a sick baby and things like that. And, you know, that was probably $50, but the overall value of that gift mm. was, was huge because we, we, sort of, we went to that little basket, you know, more times than we thought we would. Our gifts Registry is appropriate at baby showers. I don't no, think so. No. No. We um, had a few items that we wanted people to help us out with, and that was mostly our family and friends. Yeah. So they put money in for our um, pram. pram and things like that, and that was a huge help. So that yeah. was that's very much an informal gift registry, and it's those big ticket items that you really need to yeah. get, you know, as a necessity yeah. for a baby. Whereas if it was sort of a gift registry and people were saying, oh, I'd love this bottle and this cot it's or this, that, that might be a bit specific, yeah. but informally it's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think they are, uh, actually. I would have been averse to that before being a parent, but when you see double up of gifts and you see people that go over the top on gifts that are never used, yeah, yeah the gift registry is a great, great, great way to sort of short circuit that. And people and, ask you anyway, what yeah. do you want for the baby? Um, so it was, yeah, a no-brainer for us. We mm. had one. Yeah. <laughs> Too much hard work, you know. Just give whatever is practical and can, and is going to make parents' life more convenient and have a good time. That's what they're there for. Celebrate the baby, not register it, you know. Is it rude to turn down hand-me-downs from family or friends? We don't turn down. We don't turn. We down love hand-me-downs. We, we we like we are more than happy to accept. No, <laughs> so, <laughs> no. So we did we that a lot. We lived off. Hand me down. I think it's hard. I, I don't yeah. know if it's rude. I suppose it's the way that you respond back to them. <laughs> yeah. It's not rude if you communicate it and say, hey, I don't need this. I've gone through it, already got it. I think if they're getting rid of it, they, yeah. and they shouldn't feel bad if no. it's not our thing. <laughs>